Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video which I'm going to be doing on these incredible prehistoric animals you see behind me or otherwise known as the white rhino. I hope you enjoy it. While starting about on game drive one of the most common questions I get from guests when we're in a rhino sighting is whether this is a white or a black rhino. A white rhino has a very square mouth from its lips which it used, utilizes to graze on its food source which is grasses. The black rhino on the other hand has prehensile lips which is almost like a sort of parrot beak which it utilizes to hook the foliage, the twigs and leaves that it eats off the trees. The origin of the name black and white rhino can be a bit misleading. It's got nothing to do with their color, they're actually both grayish in color. The first Dutch explorers named the white rhino a veit nosehoering. In Dutch or Afrikaans, veit means wide due to the wide mouth that the white rhino's got. Consequently, the black rhino was named the black rhino and the English misunderstood the Dutch and thought they were saying white rhino instead of veit, nose whirring. To regulate their temperature on hot days, rhinos generally go down to what we call a mud wallow. It's an area along the side of a dam or stream where they utilize shallow surface of water, generally a nice mudded area, to be able to cool themselves off and lie down with their bellies in the mud. Sometimes you'll see them rolling from side to side, but they cannot turn right over. Or should I say, they shouldn't turn right over, as this can lead to further complications within their stomachs. Just behind me over here, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, I'm next to a beautiful water hole where the rhinos frequent from time to time in coming for their mud baths. The mud bath also forms as a form of protection from the sun after they've caked themselves with the mud and it dries as well as helping them with bugs and insects that constantly bite and hassle them. All right let's take a walk to these mud wallows here behind me at this dam. I'd like to show you a little bit closer what they look look like up close. Let's go. So over here is an example of a mud wallow from a rhino. As you can see, it's separated between the main body of water by some reeds, which helps to keep the rhino safe and away from the deeper water. Other animals like warthogs and elephants utilize these mud wallows also during the day. So they sort of keep them open and maintained amongst each other. Isn't it incredible to know that rhinos originated 50 to 55 million years ago? Their ancestors emerged just after the dinosaur era and long before mankind walked on this earth. When you compare the size difference between a black and a white rhino. Oh. Can you hear the lions calling in the background? That's beautiful. Love the sound of lions. You never get tired of those. When you compare the size difference between a black and a white rhino, a white rhino male, which we call a bull, can weigh up to two and a half to 2.8 tons. That's equivalent in some countries to 30 men in weight. It's incredible. It's almost like a big large tank on legs. A black rhino is smaller than that and weighs about 1.5 to 1.8 tons. What fascinates me and still I battle to comprehend is that a white rhino bull shoulder height is 1.8 meters, six foot. I'm six foot and I still can't believe that if I were to stand next to a white rhino bull, his shoulder would be somewhere up here. White rhino bulls are very territorial and actively protect 
their territories. They utilize what we call a midden, which is an actively marked defecating and urinating spot in the bush. Basically like leaving a message behind. And the younger bulls will urinate in the same area and defecate, but they will not spray their urine like a large dominant bull. In this video, you'll see that a large white rhino bull comes up to a group of females. And as you can see, they are not very welcoming of his presence. You'll see they straight away let him know. So you see how he quickly turns around and heads off, not looking for any unnecessary trouble. The collective noun for a group of rhinos is a crash, which I think is very descriptive. Thanks again for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to share the video with your friends and family. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye bye.